Hi there, welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Edosa Agabai from Nigeria. I'm a digital skills trainer and also the founder of Dosa Height Digitals. In today's tutorial, I want to show you inside Canva. I want us to explore Canva on smartphone. I want you to see what are uh, the beautiful things that we can do using our Canva mobile app. So just stick with me and don't go nowhere as I launch my Canva app right now. All right, all right, all right. We are in a Canva mobile app, and I'm going to be walking you through all the categories that we have in Canva and the beautiful things that you can actually do using your Canva app. Now, look at this quote that actually struck my mind. It said, kickstart your personal brand, brand with a logo. Now, someone was told me that design is intelligence. So, Today, I'm just going to show you the things that you can do. And if you're already familiar with the Canva app, it's kudos to you. Kudos to you. I celebrate and applaud you. So let's just go straight into business without taking too much of your time because I don't want this tutorial to be too long for you. I like it to be a lot easier so that you can just run through what we have and straight up you are able to create whatever you want to create. All right, then let's look at all the categories that we have in Canva app right now. So now we have Twitter, we have animated social media, we have poster, poster landscape, logo presentation, flyer, flyer landscape, card, card portraits, A4 document, infographic, business card, resume, photo collage, brochure, invitation, desktop wallpaper, phone wallpaper, postcard, book cover, ebook cover. In fact, you can do a whole lot with Canva on your laptop, or on your smartphone. Yeah, you can do a whole lot with it. And I want to tell you that nothing is actually impossible. Uh, those who think that things are impossible are those who haven't dare or try to actually create most of the things that they see other people do. And that is why I keep telling people, most of the students that I've trained that nothing is actually hard or difficult. It is just that we have people who are unwilling to try. So let's go straight to the designs that I've created, uh, because I get a lot of information from people who doubt it if I'm able to create my designs on my smartphone. So these are the latest designs I've done on my Canva, on my Canva app. You can see um, I did this one. This was the last job I did, the Healing Church. I did that this February, um, Dominion 2020. That was uh, the last job I did. Then this other one too. I actually created two different flyers for the ministry. One is for the Afestag branch in Nigeria here. Yeah. Then the other one is for the Ojoshi building. That's actually for their headquarters. So uh, this one is actually for the travel and tour guide that I did on my smartphone. And a lot of people are wondering, whoa, do you really did this with your smartphone? Of course I did. So just follow me as I walk you through all of the designs that I've done. I actually did this for the Safety Chick. Uh, it's a podcast that's actually working on safety moments with the safety chick it's a podcast so but it's not yet released yet so let's just okay i did this one too for impact and relevance university and a lot of people find it difficult to believe because i, I know that they are wondering i'm able to navigate um most of the icons most of the shapes they are wondering now the thing is this one of the things that make me get creative with my design is that on a daily basis I make sure I look at people's designs and I try to recreate them. That's one of the rules of graphic design. That's one of the rules of graphic designing. You need to be able to look at what people are doing and you try to recreate them. When you recreate them, it thing stays, it sticks with you and it doesn't just go away. It doesn't just go away. So I think that that's actually one thing that has worked for me as a designer. So let me just show you all the things that we have. In case you want to create a flyer, you want to create um, a flyer for Instagram, you want to create for Facebook cover photo, you want to create for your WhatsApp status or your WhatsApp story. There are different templates, pre-existing templates that you can actually take advantage of. So I'm going to click on this uh, icon. So let me take my brush tool and circle it so you see here. Yeah, very good. The plus icon in a black circle. So I'm clicking on it and you see we have Instagram post. That's a template. The template is 1080 by 1080. It's in pixels. It's in pixels. All right, then we have uh, Instagram story. Then we have for your Facebook cover. We have for your WhatsApp story. So all of these are templates. You see the sizes are changing. They are templates that you can actually use 
in case you want to create anything or you want to create a brief or you want to create a design for a client so you just look at all of them st shop icon i don't know what that actually is i'm going to explore it but it's 500 by 500 pixels they will have a bookmark two two by six inches then we have for your label now your label your label is in six by four inches label is what you have on your snacks you have it on your clothes you have it on your perfume you have it on um you just name it on your shoes you see a lot of label on it so they actually come in their own sizes on your trousers on your pants you see labels and all that so let's just go straight into uh instagram post so i'm going to work with that template so i can show you some other things that we have inside of our canva so it'll be a lot easier for you to know what you want to do and what you want to um, actually work on so i'm going to click on the plus button here or i'll click on this one here so i'm going to click on either of them and it's going to take me straight into my um project the project i want to work on i hope you're with me right if you're with me don't forget to subscribe to this video don't forget to like this video don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section i'll be so glad to actually um, walk you through all your designs using your smartphone the name of this channel is doza Eyes digital channel and i'm still your smartphone graphic designer my name is edosa agabai i'm a digital skills trainer and so far so good we've been training a lot of people on how to create graphics using their smartphone so let's go straight to what we want to do now we are here we are here now all right uh you can see we have a lot of things that you can actually work with work with uh let me take it down here now you can see we have a plus sign at the bottom right hand corner of our job all right you can see it there then also you can see that we have a drop down icon here and an arrow icon pointing to the top these two icon actually represent something the drop down icon is used to download your job when you're done with your designs then the up one too is also used to download your job but in this particular case you are going to choose the format through which your job is going to appear now if i click on it all right you're going to see save as image if i click on this order save as you're going to see a png you're going to see a jpeg you're going to see a pdf standard a pdf print now the pdf print is actually for in, in the case where you want to take your job to the printer all right you can actually render your job as a pdf print and send it to your printer and your printer is going to print it out for you with high quality resolution it will not drop standard at all all right then also this other one here is um, a f i think it's a folder all right let's click on it and let's see what we have there yeah okay it's for your sizes if you want to choose your sizes you want to rearrange the size of the brief you're working on but one thing that canva will not allow you to do in the free package is that it's not allow you to change the template it can only allow you to change your template if you are using a premium package but what i'm using right now is actually a free package it's a free package so let's go back then this other one here is for you to duplicate to create a folder a folder oh okay it's not a credit folder this other one here is actually used for you to send it as a link to someone or edit the link okay so but we don't need that right now so let's move down to the plus sign at the bottom right hand corner and let's see what we want to do so i'm going to click on that right now you can see we have text we have image we have video you can actually create uh what we call um a video graphics i think that's the name they call it you can actually create that using canva we have sticker we have illustration we have template we have logos and we have page you can create multiple pages and create multiple designs on the go instead of going back to create a new template you can create multiple designs on a go all right don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel don't forget to leave a comment if there's any area you want us to improve on in this video don't forget to leave a comment all right so now i'm going to walk you through the text let's click on the text all right we have add your own text we have pre-existing text now it is important for you to know the name of different fonts that you want to work with yeah when you are creating your designs it is very important for you to know the name of the font that you'll be using part time right so um, if i'm going to click on a text now i'm going to click on add my own text what we have is open signs we have different types of text there are some text that have a crown on it those crowns signifies premium text that means you have to pay for those fonts 
before you can be able to have access to them. But the ones that don't have that on it, they're actually free fonts that you can actually use. So no issues, no razors. You just go straight to them and just use them according to the way you find them interesting for you or find them captivating or catching for you. So I'm going to click on welcome. I'm going to type welcome. Welcome to Doza Heights. Okay. So it's not looking so aligned. I'm just going to click on this double A. If I click on it, it's going to make it in capital letters. Then this arrow, this four arrow is used to expand, used to expand your job. Then this one here, this other one, this other one here is used to stretch it so it becomes straight. All right. So I reduce, I stretch, I reduce, I stretch, I reduce it, stretch it, stretch it out, then I reduce it, I bring it back. That's what we have. As you can see, that's what we have. So I'm going to take away my video, my, my the camera, so you don't get to see my face. All right, I'm going to take away the camera right now, so you don't get to see my face. Okay, we have that now. Then we have your color. You can change the color to any color that you want. You can change the color, use multiple colors. This actually is going to really help you. Then we have spacing. You click on the spacing. You can push the letter spacing. It's going to push, it's going to create a space in between each letters, all right? Or you shrink it, okay? The line height. Sorry about that. The line height is in the case where you have to reduce this line, the, the height between each text, between each text on the different paragraph, all right? That's what the line height is going to do for you. Then also we have the bold. We have the italics. That's for the text. Then we have the centralized. We have the right justified. Then we have the middle both thing and the left justified. Okay. Then also we have image. That's where you used to add images to your brief. We have different image that you can add. Then we have image in the Canva library that you can also take advantage of. Okay, if I click on any of the image there, it's going to be showing, just going to be showing. Then I can use the filter. The filter is used to change the texture of each of the picture. I'm going to show you how to use that in one of the briefs that we'll be creating, which is um, the travel and tour, the travel and tour flyer. Then we we'll do that. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm actually at my place of work, so you'll be hearing voices. Don't mind that voice anyway, of course. Then the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to show you illustration. Under illustration here, we have the shape, we have illustration itself, then we have frame, we have line, and we have icon. The icon, the icon here, you can have your Facebook icon, you can have your Instagram icon, you can have your Twitter icon, you can have your WhatsApp icon. You can have your location icon. So each of those icons are there to actually make your job look beautiful. So if I type location in the icon bar, what is going to appear is different location icon that I can use. So I'm going to click on this one. You see it's going to appear there, all right? That's that about that. So don't forget to always take it off so it doesn't look too, it doesn't make your job look dirty. Then I'm going to go back to the illustration, click on the box. Then here we have our frame. The frame is used for you, it's used to add pictures. If you want your picture to be in a square form, you want it to be in a um, um, circular form, you want it to have different kind of shape, that's what the frame actually does for you. So I'm going to click the circular one. Then I'm going to click on an image. Now, the interesting part is each time you click on the frame, automatically, automatically, you see these three icons down below will appear. They will appear, yeah the gallery, the image, and the color. So if I click on the color, what's going to happen is that if I click on green, it's going to change the circle to green. If I click on image, whatever image I choose, that's the image that is going to appear in the frame. So it's not going to affect the other part of my project. 
Then if I click on the gallery, it is the image I have in my gallery that will appear. Now, if you notice something here, the head room, the head is cut off inside the gallery. That is because inside the frame, sorry. That is because the image is not properly adjusted. So what we're going to do in order to prevent this is that we're going to click on the crop button, the crop icon. Now, when we click on the crop icon, it allows us to move our image. So we're going to move the image now. Move it, you see. If I move it up, you see what's happening. I move it down again. You see, is it looking a lot nicer? Yeah. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Those are I dig it out. Don't forget to follow our page on Facebook also. Like our page and leave us with a comment. Leave us with a recommendation if you are really getting value in this video. Then the next thing we're going to do, all right, let's assume that I want to create this. I want to create this same frame multiple of it what i'm going to do instead of going back to illustration going back to frame what i'm going to do is click on this icon down here that icon is to duplicate so i'll click on it and it automatically duplicates my work and i move it to the part of the project the canva where i want as you can see now it's looking a lot nicer if i want more of it what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on it again i see it keeps duplicating i click on it again it duplicates like that just the same way I want it until I can be, be able to achieve what I want. So, but that's about us. I'm going to delete them, take them off. Don't forget. For you to delete, you can see the trash bin. We call it a trash bin. You just click on the trash bin. Click on your the, the, the frame. Delete it. Discard. Click on it. You discard. Click on it and you discard. Then what else again do I have to show you? We have templates. So in a case where you don't know what to design, what to do, permit them, pardon me for that, you don't know what to do, you can work with existing templates. Existing templates, just click on them. That's what a lot of guys do, just click on them. But there are some templates that are premium templates. You can actually use them because they are paid for templates. Canva will not allow you to use them if you are using a free package. You can only have access to them when you are using a premium package. So but for this one, I'm going to trash it out. If I'm not going to trash it, what I'm going to do is going to look for a gallery image and just change the image. Change the image. All right. Change the image. Look for another free image that I can use. And we're good to go. Full good to go. You can see that now. It's a family portrait. Now, if I click on the family portrait, what's the name of the font? The name of the font is Karumbi. Now, you need to be a master of fonts. You need to take note of the fonts that you use. Because there are times when you're going to need those fonts. And if you don't know the name, then it's going to become an issue, a real big issue. I, I hope you, you, you get that. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to end this video here. Because I think we have all that you need. We've looked at the basics, the basics, the basics. Then we'll look at filter. If I, if I click on the background... If I don't want the background to be white, I click on the background Canva. What is going to come out is that I can change the color, change the color of the background to whatever color that I want. I can give it a portrait, irrespective. I can give it different designs at the back. You can see what's going on there. Then if I have a background that I've already downloaded from Google, from pexels.com or maybe on splash.com or pixabay i'm just going to click on it and voila you can see there we have all right so i'm going to end this video here right now all right and we're going to go straight into some other things that we can do with our canva app all right don't go nowhere stick with me don't forget my name is still egdosa aigabai um your digital skills trainer and also the founder of Dozer Eyes Digital. Stick with me and don't go nowhere. Thank you.